All right. Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Henry Simons, and I'm the uh, Assistant City Manager for Operations for the City of Columbia. Thank you all so much for your for your presence on today. Of course, we would like to welcome you and thank you uh, for being here today as we celebrate the new amenities here at Lorick Park. Uh, of course, we want to thank our mayor, Steve Benjamin, our city council members present with us today, Councilman uh, McDowell, Councilman Davis is with us. We also want to uh, always acknowledge our city manager, Ms. Teresa Wilson, for her continuous leadership and guidance and support, uh, supporting the Parks and Recreation team. Uh, we're grateful. Uh, today is our second, actually, actually our second ribbon cutting of today. And this again uh, confirms our commitment to the citizens of this community and also the citizens across our great, our great city. Uh, this portion uh, of the project would not be possible, of course, without uh, funding that's, that's been provided through HUD's Community Development Block Grant Program, in which we were awarded almost $150,000 uh, for this project. Uh, so we're certainly grateful uh, for what has been provided. So the Lork Park uh, renovations include two new playgrounds, as you see behind me, enhanced walkways, an updated splash pad, uh, and, and some additional site amenities. Uh, the actual site amenities include an assortment of climbing components, slides, bridges, musical elements, and shaded nooks is included in what we've done. We are very proud, very proud of what we, what we have done here at Lorick Park. And we will continue to work hard to improve the quality of life uh, for the community and across the city of Columbia. Uh, we feel strongly, very strongly, uh, that providing these amenities in a safe environment allows families to come together, to rest, to, to relax, while their children enjoy the, the activities that these amenities provide. Uh, so thank you again uh, for your presence on today. Now at this time, I'm going to invite Councilman Davis uh, to provide some remarks. Thank you. Councilman Davis? Our responsibility is to Make sure that you have the best in terms of equipment, playgrounds, and, and that you're safe. And the, the project includes both, both of those. We want you to feel safe when you're out here and your children are playing, but they're playing on the best equipment. Um, you don't have to worry about accidents because the equipment uh, has been supported by your tax dollars, and it's it's, it is the best, and it, it, there's, there's nothing like being close to where you can go and play and recreate. When I was growing up in Charleston, my playground, a huge playground, was a half block from my house. So I've become used to that, having certain things close by. Um, and we want you to, to enjoy it, and we want you to let your friends know that um, you enjoy this, you want them to enjoy it, and when it's all said and done, these equipment will last for a long time. But it doesn't matter how long it lasts. The purpose is that you, en you enjoy it, and you want to get crazy on the playground, do that too. But, but the bottom line is, it's close by, and the staff have done an excellent job in all they've done to make these facilities the state of the arts. Um, they told us about the best, and they convinced us to pay for the best. And it's, it's considerate your neighborhood playground, and by all means, invite your friends. Thank you. Now, of course, thank, thank you so much, Councilman Davis. We'll have uh, our councilman that represents this district, Councilman uh, Ed McDowell, to come and now provide some remarks. Councilman McDowell. What a wonderful day it is in the neighborhood. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for allowing us to be a partner with you as our community continues to expand and grow itself. I just met some friends here, and I'm, I think what I'm going to do is invite them when we cut this ribbon 
to help us cut this ribbon because a part of what we've done here is for you guys. A part of what we've done here in the city to, is, of course, expanding our vision, making sure that the vision we have for this city of ours is continuous and continuing to expand itself. We are grateful to all of those partners who've helped us facilitate this facility, who helped us to maintain a vision that is children, family oriented. So we're glad you're here today. There's a walking park, there's a little bit of everything out there, out here. So please, thank you. Thank you for being who you are, whose you are. And just remember, we still got a lot of work to do. This is just a part of what we plan to do. Thank you all so much. Thank you. You ready to cut? So we have had several ribbon cuttings within the last several months. And, and um, I know sometimes this may seem redundant, but it's absolutely essential uh, that we recognize and acknowledge the people that do the work. Uh, so I just want to take a moment to acknowledge, um, of course, HUD, the field director, Chris and Foy, for their support on this initiative. Uh, city's very own Gloria Saeed, who's the director of community development, and her entire team. We also have um, Ms. Bristow here with us today. Thank you so much to our community development administrator. And of course, to our Parks and Recreation uh, leadership team, uh, led by Mr. Randy Davis, our director of Parks and Recreation, our deputy director, uh, Kenya Bryant, our project manager, uh, Todd Martin, and a host of other members of our team. Uh, this would not be possible uh, without the work that they do behind the scenes, whether it be paperwork, whether it be meetings, whether it be ensuring that the application is submitted on time. Uh, it does take, it, it takes a lot of work and uh, they are very detail oriented and I'm grateful for all the work that's been done with all the ribbon cutting that's, that's taken place across the city. So we're happy and we're excited that you all are here today. So at this time, uh, we're going to move into the actual ribbon cutting itself um, at this moment. And then afterwards, we'll have time, of course, to take some additional interviews from our councilmen. So thank you all so much uh, for being here. And I know Councilman McDowell would like some of our young people to come up and be a part of the uh, ribbon cutting ceremony. Do I have any do I have any volunteers?